first, a story of struggle and triumph. A young woman battling a debilitating disorder that causes thousands of tumors all over her body. It's called neurofibromatosis and it's similar to elephant man disease. But Katie Bauer tackles the pain and stigma with grace and courage. Oh, cute. Katie Bauer and her mom always spend the day before surgery together. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. They have little rituals they always do, like Patrice giving Katie slippers and pajamas and packing angel bear to bring to the hospital. My granny gave me my angel bear and um, I feel that every surgery she's there with me. It makes me want to be stronger for her because I know that she's watching. Katie is just 22, but since age nine, she's had more than 50 surgeries to have tumors removed. It has gone from one on her back when she was nine years old that was the size of a grapefruit to, I mean, literally head to toe. She's had them removed from her face, from behind her ears, her abdomen, her arms. In later years, they've gone down into her legs and into her feet. Neurofibromatosis is a condition similar to elephant man disease because it can be disfiguring. NF, as it's often called, causes tumors to grow on the nerves and can also cause learning disabilities and skin and bone abnormalities. The gene basically that we all carry, which prohibits tumors from growing in our body, has mutated and, and they do not have that protection. The tumors here and then there's like one there and then I have Small some, like, tumors all over Katie's yeah, body yeah. cause her skin to have a pebbled yeah, look, like a, but her greatest difficulty right comes yeah, from tumors yeah, growing yeah, inside her body. Here. She lives with pain that mm, we can't imagine. Mm, I've seen her cry. Yeah. I've seen her just collapse. It just comes out of nowhere. It just, I just fall. I mean, my, I go cringe like this and I go into a, I grow, go into a ball and it just spasms, my back spasms. Seeing her daughter in so much pain and being able to do so little to help is the hardest part for her mom. I can't really hug my daughter like a normal person because there's so many tumors that almost no matter where I touch her, it's going to hurt her. And sometimes, I mean, I, I figured out ways to kind of give her a hug. But sometimes I'll be spontaneous, you know, and I'll realize I hurt her. And that, that's tough. Give me a hug. But Katie is strong and she's mm -hmm. overcome a lot. In high school, tumors growing on her spine made it too painful to walk. Yeah. She was in a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair. That was, that's Katie different. spent two years in that wheelchair until undergoing experimental surgery to implant a spinal cord stimulator. Now she uses this little electrical device on her hip to stimulate her back and numb the pain. Catherine Sarah Bass. Woo! She walked across the stage to get her diploma and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. What's it feel like to be able to walk again? It feels really good. <laughs> but when it comes to NF, with every triumph comes another challenge. PJ slippers, socks. As bags, they pack Katie's bag animals. for her next trip to the hospital, she has nine tumors in all that need to be removed. Complicating surgery even more this time are problems with Katie's insurance coverage. Aetna told her doctor they will only reimburse for removing two tumors per surgery. With that rule, Katie would have to undergo five separate surgeries to cover removal of all nine tumors. It makes no sense. You know, they're, they're putting me at risk. They're putting me under anesthesia. It's more money for them. And it's, it's, it's every surgery, it's a risk. I'm appalled and I'm really disgusted because I worked very hard to get her the best insurance I could so we wouldn't have these problems. Patrice says Aetna kept telling them it was a billing code issue they could not change. After months of fighting with them, Katie's doctor decided to move forward to remove all nine tumors, insurance or not. Hi. On surgery day, everyone's mood is a little lighter. Katie and her mom got some good news last night from their insurance agent. They actually realized that they didn't have a code, and that's what was wrong. They're um, going to have a new code for uh, patients that have NF. Wow. 
What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. <laughs> what do you want him to call it? Katie Code. Katie Code. <laughs> it's good, good to see, see you. you. Thank you. Katie's doctor, Dan Greenwald, arrives and prepares her for surgery. He says removing nerve tumors can always be tricky. We've taken tumors out of the main nerve that goes to the hand, the main nerve that goes to the lower leg, and you worry that there's going to be muscle weakness or paralysis so she can't walk or can't use her hands, and that's a scary thing. Surgery day is scary, but Katie has angel bear and is comforted by the staff here at Tampa General, especially after 50 surgeries together in the past 13 years. All right, baby. I'll see you in the operating room. You won't see me. Okay. All right, we'll take good care of her. Love you. It's time Katie heads to the OR. That's a good size one. Dr. Greenwald methodically removes one tumor after another. That's the tumor. But then hits a complication with the tumor in Katie's abdomen that's been causing her the most pain. I'm in between the ribs right now. And I'm going into the muscles that are between the ribs. And if I go any deeper, I'm going to be in her lungs, and I really don't want to be in there. Overall, surgery goes well, eight out of nine. But the tumor in her chest cavity will require major surgery, something Dr. Greenwald will discuss later with Katie and her parents. I've never seen anybody with as much courage as my daughter. Hey, sweetheart. Finally, they get to see her in post-op. Still groggy, but even with anesthesia wearing off, still able to manage a little smile. You Person. like that little kayak, don't you? Yep. Another battle is not far, but Katie never gives up, and her family has come to accept neurofibromatosis is part of what makes Katie so special. It's hard, but uh, my mom's taught me to be tough. I think God didn't want me to be in pain, but he knew that I'd be able to put word out about this and you know, knew that it wouldn't beat me. I contacted Aetna Insurance to follow up on Katie's situation. A spokesman says the company has worked out a resolution with her doctor, so Katie can have as many tumors as necessary removed in one surgery. But he says there is no plan to create a special code for all NF patients after all. It was a big disappointment to Katie and her mom, but they say they'll continue to fight for a Katie code so other patients don't have to go through the same difficulty and frustration she did.